Welcome to the Young Hang Hot Rod Shop. Welcome back to another episode of the Young Hang Hot Rod Shop. I am delighted to have you join me on the quest to fill those PCP air guns we all love. Today, we're going to dive even deeper into a compressor I'm calling the Young Hang Killer and how it has taken over much of my PCP filling needs. Before we get to that, I'd like to announce a new way to support this channel. You can always visit targetforge.net. We love helping you get the most enjoyment out of your trigger time. We are also excited to announce we are adding Patreon to the mix as a way to help me provide you this content. You can find the link in the description below. Even a few dollars a month helps keep the machine moving forward. For those in the know, we also do Amazon affiliate linking as well. You'll find links below to many of the items featured on this channel. Know that I will only feature items I actually use and believe have value for you and me. I wouldn't have it any other way. Using my links does not cost you one penny more, but Amazon gives me a small commission on the sale. A true win-win. Let's get into it. In the previous episode, we looked at using this compressor on an ATV. I grew up on the East Coast and we called them quads. PJ Clark, the Wisconsin air gunner, calls them four wheelers. That episode has been quite popular. Thank you for all the views, it really helps. All the wiring techniques used in that episode are used in this project as well. If you wanna learn how to make quality, high current connections for 12 volt systems, check out the Young Hang Killer Gets a Ride episode. It's packed full of that kind of information. I'm not done yet, no siree. I even wired an outlet on my Toyota Tundra. Cars and trucks often have charging systems that can deliver quite a bit more energy than ATVs or motorcycles. Most modern alternators in cars can handle 50 to 100 amps at or near idle, and the batteries are huge. So in this application, we don't need the auxiliary battery we did on the ATV or the isolator. The wired outlet in the bumper of this truck sure makes life easy. No alligator clips, no running the system next to a spinning cooling fan and accessory belts. The hood stays closed, convenient cradle for the compressor right on the front bumper and anywhere my truck goes, I can fill. I've gotten lots of feedback recently that some guys are just entrenched with the idea of a bottle as the portable air solution. One fella even said it was too much stuff to haul around. Wait, you're hauling this around now and you don't want to switch to this? Okay. Those of you stuck on the bottle might soon face another issue. As gun fill pressures continue to rise, your ability to top off those guns with a finite source, your carbon bottle, will go down quickly. Think about guns now that take 4,500 PSI fills. How many times do you think you're gonna fill that with a 4,500 PSI bottle? You see where I'm going? I've had mine since September of 2021 and not one issue so far. I've had viewers tell me that they've had the GX CP2 for over a year with no issues. I think they're onto something. There is a service interval at 50 hours that has you apply some grease to the connecting rods right in here. In a future episode, we'll tear one of these down to bits and see what's inside, if I get some Patreon supporters. Let's fire this rig up and fill this FX impact.
Don't forget your dust covers. Bracket pops off and the compressor goes back in the truck. And I never touch the hood or a stupid alligator clip. Last on our journey today, I wanted to connectorize the AC supply for this compressor as well. Remember how I don't like alligator clips? I just made a pigtail with the same connectors and wire and mounted it to the supply. I also 3D printed a terminal guard to protect those high current DC terminals. The files are available either on the printables.com website, if you follow me there, or directly from me, as are the ones for the cord reel and the tether mount. I added these bits so it would stow on the ATV or the truck better. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, I can print them for you for a fee to cover my time and materials. Contact me at bill at targetforge.net for more details. The cord hose reel attaches with a single cord of 20 bolt and makes cord management a snap. The fill block mount on the handle keeps that from flopping around in transit and is designed with passages to allow it to mount with commonly available zip ties. It keeps things looking nice and neat and tidy. I can literally use this little gem in the shop, on my farm truck, or on my ATV. As long as I've got fuel, I can fill my guns. With all the craziness with fuel prices and world instability, I might need to design a solar version. Hmm. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate your time and support. Be sure to check out the Amazon links if you are considering buying one of these. Please consider visiting my company's site at targetforge.net and our new Patreon to support this channel directly. I would love to keep bringing you innovative content on all things airgun related. Be a light in the darkness, friends. Peace.